How's it going, fellow pickers? About a month or two ago, I was going through a collection of fiddle tunes and I ran across a tune called Choctaw, which I didn't recognize and I don't believe I've played it before. So I learned it and then I did a little bit of research on it and it turns out it's probably a tune from Oklahoma that got carried over to Texas by a fiddle player named Orville Burns. Um, and so it's worked its way into the world of Texas style fiddle as well as contest fiddle playing, but it doesn't look like it's really worked its way into the world of bluegrass. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe everyone else has heard of this tune and I haven't. If that's the case, let me know in the comments below. But if I'm right, I thought it would be really nice to share this tune, or at least a quick video of it, because um, I think it would fit really well and it is a lot of fun to play on the mandolin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to break the tune down, we'll put the tap and sheet music right up on the page. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to make sure you're not missing any of the future lesson videos I make, hit subscribe and hit that little bell notification so YouTube lets you know every time I post something new. If you'd like the tabs and sheet music for this and all of the other tunes I've done, you can find that on my Patreon page for just $1 a month. So before we take a look at the melody to this tune, we're going to take a look at the chords. Um, this song has four chords, A minor, C, F, G, and an alternate G that we're going to use in the B section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play through the rhythm section on this, and I'm going to put the chords up here and call them out as I'm playing it. One, two, ready, play. A minor, C, A minor, A minor, C, G, C, A minor, C, A minor, A minor, C, G, C, C, A minor, C, G, C, F, G, C, C, A minor, C, G, C, F, G, C. The first half of your A section can be broken down into three phrases. Phrase one, phrase two, and phrase three. So to play phrase one, you're gonna start on the A on your E string, so the fifth fret, and you're gonna play that with your middle finger. So you're gonna play A, B on fret seven with your ring, down to A, down to the G on the third fret of your E string, and then you're gonna walk up A, B, and then get the C with the ring finger on the eighth fret. Phrase two is gonna start on an open E, up to G with your pointer finger on the third fret, back down to the open E, and then play the D on the fifth fret of A, then open E, up to that A on the fifth fret of E, and then G on fret three, and then open E. And then phrase three is gonna start on the C, so the third fret of your A string, down to the B on the second fret, C, walk up to the D on the fifth fret of A, play your open E, back to the C on the third fret, open A, and then you're gonna play the fifth fret of D, which is your G, and you're gonna play an E on fret two of the D string. And then from here, you're just gonna slide from fret five to fret seven on your D string. So you're gonna slide from G to A, and a couple strums to end it out. So let's play the first half of that A section together. One, two, ready, play.
The second half of your A section, the first two phrases will stay the same, but the third phrase will change. So your first two phrases, but your new third phrase should sound like that. So we're going to be starting on the third fret of our A string and playing the C. And then we're going to go down to the B on fret 2, open A, playing the G on the 5th fret of D, and then go back to B on fret 2 of A. Then you're going to play the D on fret 5, back down to the B on fret 2. So that little bit. Then you're going to play your open A, G on fret 5 of your D string, E on fret 2, open D, go down to the B on the 4th fret of your G string, and you're going to end it by playing the 5th fret of G, which is your C. So let's take the whole A section together slowly. One, two, ready, play. The B section on this tune is a little bit more repetitive, easier to learn, but it does start right away with a lick that's more challenging than anything we saw in the A section. So that lick looks like this. And it's not as bad as it sounds, it's really just centering around that C chord there. So the first note we're going to play is the E on the 2nd fret of our D string. Go and get the uh, C on the 5th fret of G, back to E. Play the G on the 5th fret of your D string, and then go over to A string, play the 3rd fret C, 5th fret D, and then open E. Then you're going to go to the 1st fret of your E string, play the F, and slide that into G, and give the F a little bit of emphasis. And then play the 8th fret, so the C, go down to the A on the 5th fret of your E string, G on the 3rd uh, fret, open E, D on fret 5 of your A string, C on fret 3, and then open A. So both the 1st and 2nd half of the B section will start with that lick. Now the next uh, portion of the first half of the A sec section will lead us into our half cadence. So you're going to be playing the C on the 3rd fret of the A string, play the G on the 5th fret of the D string, back to C. Then you're going to go to D on fret 5, E on fret 7, back to C on fret 3, go to the D on fret 5, and then back to C. So that whole little bit. And then you're just going to slide that down, play the B on fret 2 of the A string, and then you're going to go to your G double stop here. So you're just going to put your ring finger over on the 5th fret of D. And you can either play that as a double stop, or I like to break it apart, so I'm playing B, G, G, B, G. The second half of the B section will start with that same lick, but we'll go down to the G on the 5th fret of your D string, then go to the C on the 3rd fret of A, and go right up to the E on the 7th fret of A. Then go back down to C, play the D on fret 5, back down to C and then slide that down to the B on the 2nd fret, 
and then go back to the G on the fifth fret of your D string. And then you're gonna go into a C double stop now. So right now with this, with fret five on the D, fret two on A, we're in a G double stop. You're gonna play that once, and then go into the C by just putting your middle finger down on the third fret. Or if you wanna break that up, like that. And that's your B section. One slight alternate option that I like to do in the B section on that opening lick is just to change the first note from an E to a low G. So instead of having, you could do, which seems like a small difference, but it kind of makes it feel bigger. So that lick with the open G to start it, versus with the E, But either will work, they're both chord tones in C.